you doing everyone? Today's topic is the meta tag. Now many of you may not have heard the term meta tag before, but that could be because the meta tag itself is something that's not visible to the public. In fact, the meta tag is part of coding that makes up a web page and while it is read by your browser, it is never actually seen on a page. And then on the other hand, there might be some of you who have heard of meta tags but never really thought they were necessary. And the bottom line is that meta tags are necessary but are not as important now as they were years ago. The, the sheer number of websites today cause us search engines to use many secrets for listing websites. And meta tags are only a tiny portion of those secrets. As I said, however, they are definitely good to have, and I'm looking right now at a good place to start when learning about meta tags. This particular page is from the w3schools.com website, which is a good place to learn about coding and HTML and different things that go into making up a website. And if you're designing yours on a standard website software application, then you'll need to know these different lines that you'd want to put in what we call the header tags. Everything between that is what's called in the header. And you'll see that they start off with the word meta. And the meta tag is what basically describes your site or gives keywords about the site or the author so that search engines can find out more about your site and list them correctly. Now, again, if you're using your own web design software, you'll want to know how to write all those out on each page and in the code for that page. However, if you are using the Anyone Web Builder supplied by OurChurch.com, then this page will look familiar to you. And when you get to your page to edit a page, you can do this with any page. Click on the little SEO Features tab, and you'll see here that it makes it a lot easier to provide meta tags information. All you do is just fill in the boxes and press your Save Changes button. Important though to know what these are. The SEO Words category are words that actually get added to the address of your site. So whatever words you would put in here would get added to the end of the address that you would type in for the URL of your page. That helps search engines a lot because they would rather see words in your site rather than numbers or codes, things, things like that. The meta title is not only something that is used by the search engines to describe your site, but it's also something that is seen at the top of your browser when you go to a page. This one says Mozilla Firefox, but if you went to a particular page that had this right here on it, then it would be right up here at the top. The keywords are just that. They're just keywords, words that describe what your site does. I've added a couple here hosting, web builder, Christian web hosting, etc. So you want to put a lot of keywords in there separated by commas. You don't want to put too many. Uh, sometimes there is such a thing as overkill. But we recommend perhaps 20 to 30 keywords or phrases so, uh, separated by commas. And then finally, the description, the meta description, is just simply a sentence or two that describes what your site is all about. Now, the head content down at the bottom is usually used for some sort of script or something else that you want to put in the header. And uh, that is a little bit more advanced and we won't cover that at this time, but it's sometimes necessary if you're going to have your page do something in particular, especially with third-party software. So that's our quick tip for today. We'll have more for you in a bit. Thank you. Mm -hmm.